Good morning, YouTube. Well, as you might remember, I've been having problems with my car. I thought it's all going to be fixed. I came to the conclusion, um, overheating, the um, electric fan not working, not kicking in. Oh, no stand the rain as we call it. But basically, I'm going to have to take a break in a minute until the rest of the chair is gone. But basically, I've just managed, after a half an hour of struggling, to um, take the thermostat out. And let me just turn this around so that's me working on the car. There's the thermostat. Look how rusty that is. So, gasket had all gone. My only problem being, you see all that rust there? The rust is also, I don't know if you can see that. But down in there, I don't think I can get there. See that? That's where it goes into. That's all rusted and gunked up as well. I'm hoping when I get the antifreeze in there, um, that's going to be problem solved. I've never just got to cover everything up quick, and I will speak to you later because it's starting to pour down. So, the new one's on. Down in there, can you see that? The old one, like I showed you before, really all badly rusted rusted up. So all I'm going to do now is put it all back together. So put the hose back on there. I've already put it onto the thermostat itself. So it's the hose back on, battery plate back into place, battery back in, that cover goes back on there and should be jobs are good. Un. So Another half an hour, and I should be able to give it a test run and see what happens. Um, normally, it takes a while anyway, when it's all running properly, for the um, for the fan to kick in. So once the thermostat's working properly, it would take longer than um, well, it would take a while. It hasn't been kicking in at all. So there's your electric fan. All looks a bit old, doesn't it? But um, yeah, the car's old. It's 21 years old. But I think that's another problem cured. Um, I'd already, as you know, bought a new battery to go in there because it wouldn't start. Um, well, it would start with jump leads, and then when it started to overheat, I switched it off, and then went to switch it back on again a few days ago, this was, when I first got back, and it wouldn't, the battery was just dead, so it hadn't charged after an hour of the engine running. So obviously the battery had had it. Went to town, a lot of walking, a lot of carrying a heavy battery around, but managed to get back to the campsite on the bus again, connected the battery up, and it away it went, no trouble at all. So I'm hoping now that this is going to cure the problem. My only problem being inside there where the thermostat is and is, where it goes back in there, inside there is also all rusted up. Now I'm hoping that's going to cure itself with time, antifreeze in there and so on, but there's no way I can seem to be able to get to it. We're taking really apart and I'm not um, a serious mechanic. So yeah, I'm hoping that's going to do the job for now. Let's uh, put it all back together and I'll be with you in a minute. Well, good afternoon YouTube. This is a carry-on from uh, my adventures of getting my car on the road. As you know, the thermostat was bought. Disconnected everything, managed to put the thermostat on. Now, one of the bolts busted off. So there you go. So, as luck would happen, the bolt was sticking out. When I took when I took the uh, thermostat housing off, the bolt was still sticking out about a centimetre. So a pair of pliers got that out. Had to go to town today again on the bus again, but I've managed to um, get the correct bolts, uh, put them on. The thermostat's working. The car's up and running, and I'm a happy man. So there you go, hey. So just thought I'd let you know. I'm now going to sit down, have a nice cup of coffee. Like I say, please like, subscribe, and I will chat to you later. Bye for now.